I've received a few questions about how to tackle latency when recording in Logic Pro. So today I'm going to show you four things that you can try that would definitely eliminate latency when you are recording in Logic Pro. Okay, so let's jump right into it real quick. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure you set your buffer size as low as possible without affecting playback. For example, when I want to record, usually I will set my buffer size at 128, but you can go as low as 64 if it doesn't affect playback. And then when you want to mix, you know, you can go ahead and set this to the highest, which is 1024. That's best for mixing. But for recording, you want to bring it down as low as possible without it affecting playback. Now, the second thing you want to do is make sure your recording delay is set to zero. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's go back to settings real quick. That's command and comma, by the way. So we're going to go over to audio and devices. And then if you come down here, you see recording delay. You see this is set to zero samples. Okay. If for any reason this is moved to the left, you're going to find out that whatever you record is going to be faster than the BPM. And if it's moved to the right, it's going to be slower. So you want to make sure this is exactly at zero. For example, let me actually try and do something real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to bypass all of this mastering effects. I don't know, just move this to the left for now. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to move this over to this channel with effects. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Okay. I mean, you can hear that the vocal is not on time. So it's very, very important that this is set to zero. And if I put it back to zero now and do the same thing, this is what we're going to get. Uh, uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. All right. So let's go back. Uh, uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you understand? That's really just it. Now, let's say you've done these two things and you're still having latency. The next thing you want to do is to make sure you don't have any latency inducing plugins in your session. It doesn't actually have to be on the track itself. It can be on the stereo out track and still affect the whole thing. And it's actually one way to check to see if a plugin is going to induce latency. It's very simple. You just hover your mouse over that set plugin. And you're going to get this information as you can see l2 says 64 samples equals to zero seconds so there's no latency there i am pusher the same thing no latency um you know no latency i could actually have this master chain active right now and record and i would not have any latency issues that's just what that means because all the plugins i've used here don't induce latency so just make sure to check to see if you have any plugin on your session that is inducing latency and if for some reason you don't want to take out the plugins let's say you've done some settings and you want to just keep them in the session there's also one thing you can do to buy pass those plugins automatically you know logic can actually do that for you so if we go back to our settings again we're going to go over to general and you see where it says low latency mode now when we select this logic is going to automatically bypass any latency inducing plugin in your session whenever you record so this is the last thing that i think you could try if you've done all these four things and you still have latency issues there you might need to go and consult your oracle because bro I don't think there's any other way to help you out. <laughs> Do you understand? So yeah, man, that's it. This was just a quick one to just show you this. I'm actually working on a mix breakdown, but it's taking longer than normal because of my schedule. So, but in the meantime, I just wanted to put this out because I've gotten a few requests about this, like so many requests. And me personally, I had the same latency issue when I was trying to record this song. Turned out that my, what do you call it, recording delay was set to somewhere around here, you know, instead of uh, zero samples. So yeah, man, that's it. These are the four things you can try to help you eliminate latency issues when you record in Logic Pro X. All right. And also, if you want a free Logic Pro recording template that comes with a free Afrobeat preset made with all stock plugins, I'm going to leave a link below where you can get them. It's actually a very, very good recording template for any artist that want to record themselves or maybe a, a producer that's just trying to get into recording. Do you understand? So I'm going to leave a link where you can get them. So that's good to be for now. I hope you got something from this. If you did, make sure you leave me a like and subscribe if you've not. And if you'd like to book my services for mixing and mastering, I'm going to leave a link below to the engineers page where you can book my services, okay? And if you'd like to buy my vocal and mastering presets for FL Studio and Logic, and as well as buy my mixing and mastering template for Logic and Pro Tools, I'm going to leave a link below where you can get them as well, all right? So yeah, man, that's it for now. I shall see you on the next one. Ben Macaulay. Out. Ah.